Hey folks, it's Rithgar. How are you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. We've just got half of, well, yeah, I'll say just. We've got half of our field left to harvest, and then once that's done, we're going to be getting on with some baling. We're going to do a run. We're going to cover the, we're going to do the field with the rake before we get on with the baling. Um, and I'm hoping that will sort of make the job a little bit easier for the baler as well. As, you know, not just, uh, not just save us a little bit of time, but also make the job a bit easier. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we will give it a go. We should be able to at least put these two rows into one around the edge. And then I'm kind of hoping that we'll be able to put the hired help going for the middle of it. And then the hired help will do the rest of it. At least that's the plan. Whether or not the plan is actually going to work, I'm, I'm not really sure. While this one goes up and down the field a little bit and fills out a few things, we have some new toys in the shop. Now, the small tractors, I think I've already showed you this one. I, I showed it you this one right here. Um, I've actually showed it you most of these. We've got the Case 1455, we've got the Agristar 661, we've got the Hurleyman H488, and we've got the new Holland 8340. As of yet, we don't have the Lamborghini uh, Mac VRT, I think it is. We don't have that one yet, anyway. It's, it's, it's not here. It has not yet made it to the fold. What we do have, another one that we've got now, is this one may be familiar. This is the new one that we've got in the game. The Big X1180. Monstrous great creature right here. But this one right here may seem familiar. This is the Big X580. It's another mod that has been now added into the game. So we got that one. Plus, we've got the uh, header that goes with it. So let's have a look over in here now. We've got under trailers, there is a mod in here that we've got. You don't have a slider bar underneath. I mean, it does scroll through pretty quick, mine. So I guess that's all right. When you, It's when you've got 100 different trailer mods that the slider bar starts to become really, really good. Uh, we got that Flegel there, it's been there for a couple days, but we've now got this Stroutman here. This one's quite cool. This one's like the other Stroutman, it's just slightly bigger. So you've got 4,000 litres there, you've got the loading bale wagon as the standard low point, and then you've got 4,000, 8,000, and 12,000 on there, um, and then it goes back to that. So this, yeah, it's got the turntable wheels on the bottom, and if we back out of there and we go all the way up to the front here, it's exactly the same as this one, except it's just got a turntable um, wheels on it rather than the other type of wheels, which I thought was quite cool. I thought that was a nice little touch on that one. Um, there's... what else did we get? I can't remember now. I know that we've also got under wheel loaders. We've now got our JCB. I love this JCB. I absolutely love it. 230 horsepower, this bad boy is. And then wheels, you've got front twins or standards. Uh, this one here is 235 horsepower. Actually, that's, that is a bigger one than I thought. You know, the last um, uh, extra loader that we had, uh, it was the JCB or nothing, because the others were so sort of weak and seedy. They barely had the strength to get up the hill on their own. They, they, they couldn't cope with anything. They were useless. Didn't like them. Wasn't a fan. Right, we've also got in here the sheds. I've actually got some packs. There's a whole mod pack here with um, machine shed. Oh, machine shed. Right. Machine shed, six door, five door, four door, and three door. So it depends what you want. You want a three door, a four door, a five door, or a six door. We can bring one of these. You don't have enough money. Fine. Okay. You know what? Just fine. Be like that. There's not a lot of difference in price between them, but you can see it is actually a machine shed. It's a very big shed, right? It does, I'm assuming it levels the land out in order for it to work, but I haven't actually tried it. So I, I don't really know. I will go on to my test run, my, my test game, and I will have a look at this and see what it's like. Uh, we've still got loads of space in the tank at the moment. Uh, so let's go back into here a minute. Uh, back and uh, sheds right there. Machine shed three doors. See, even this is a fair size shed, isn't it? That's, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. We'll, bring, we'll run this one up over here a minute. Right, doesn't like that. Deformation of the terrain failed. If I bring that one around there, that's the, the front there. So I want to bring it around this way. And I'd want to place it like that. And then... 
Okay. Wow. I can bring that right the way. There we go. So we, we can do that. And then if I bring this one round, let's have a look. It's got no indication as to whether it le it brings up the front or not. So I don't actually know what this one would be like. I'm definitely not going to be plonking this one in here. I'm going to wait and I want to test this one out on a test map first before I go trying that one out. Because it could end up being an absolute unmitigated disaster, couldn't it? You, you know full well what could happen there. It could just be left there without modifying the ground in front at all. And then you've got like a six foot step in order to be able to get inside. And you're just not able to do anything. That would genuinely, I would be heartbroken. That would be genuinely heartbreaking. I absolutely do not want that to happen. Right, this one needs to go back up to the top of the field and then we can start traveling this one. So let's get this one lined up so that he's ready. We've got nearly 8,000 liters of grain in here. We'll bring this one around a bit. We don't have to go too far. We definitely don't want to go too far, actually, because if we get too close, the combine might not be able to turn around. Uh, we'll just run over to here a second. I want to have a look and see, not the sheep, I uh, just want to see what we've got in the way of eggs for the chickens. We've got three boxes so far. They're doing fine. And yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave that one there for a minute. It would be really good if we could remove some of this stuff, right? If, if, if we could clear some of them. I mean, all, all, look at all this. I know plenty of farmers that have got likes of that and this old car sitting around. But seriously, a manky mattress, old bathtub, this bit of rubbish here. Most farmers that I've ever known or worked for would have had that armchair. That would have been cleared away. You know, it either would have been buried on farm. They, they would have dug a big hole and they'd have buried it on the farm. Or it would have been carted off. But we certainly wouldn't have had armchairs and, and stuff like that just left lying around the farm. It, it, no. No. This, this, is, this is absolutely appalling. It's ter it, it, really, it, it really is quite bad that, you, that we've got that kind of trash there and we can't clear it up. I, I, I don't like that. You know, I, I don't know very many farms that would allow such a trash heap to just be left on the farm to just slowly rot away to nothing you know it would be tidied up a bit at least buried somewhere i know a huge number of farmers that have buried loads of rubbish on the farm and that's that's kind of fairly standard for a lot of farmers now we run down why is the light suddenly changed is it go it oh maybe it's going cloudy maybe it's starting to go a little bit cloudy it could be because it we you know we are due some cloud it says right there cloud uh so we, we could be due a little bit um, I don't think rain affects, um, the grass or anything left on the ground. I don't think grass rots or anything like that. But I do believe that we're still not uh, allowed to harvest while it's raining. That, that was a mechanic that was in the game anyway. And I don't think that's changed. I think that not harvesting while it's raining is still a thing. I'm just going to bring this one over here and we're going to stop right there. Going to go no further. No further than that. You over here, you've got this little bit of grass, but that's the reason that I can't do anything with that is because the sheep are actually completely full of grass and hay, and I can't put any more into them at the moment. So, yeah, I don't really know what to do with that. I don't want to. I don't want to take it too far away because it, it feels like a waste. But at the same time, it needs to go here somewhere. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it there. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna. To... No, I'm gonna leave the. I'm gonna leave the bucket there with it in the bucket, and I'm not gonna do anything with it. So we're gonna we're gonna go on over here now. I'm gonna lift that one up ever so slightly, and we're gonna get the rake. Cause I think that yeah, cause the yeah the the small small tractor up there that one does like 15 miles an hour, doesn't it? top speed. I don't know if the small tractor would cope all that well with this one. Or does it? No, we no, we put it on this one. We used it. We put this one on the small tractor and it worked really well. Bring this back round. It did actually work really, really well with the small tractor, didn't it? So maybe we should use that. That would be a, be that would be a better option. Use the small tractor where we can because 
If we don't, you end up with a a very hefty fuel bill. And that's 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 the bit that we don't want. Is it's the fuel bill bit that we don't want. And of course, then we've got the problem with the baler. Now this has got 50 litres of grass in it, and I'm gonna go over to the straw now, and it's going to fill it all up with grass. I don't want to do that. I'd, I'd really rather not, but I don't think we've got any choice. I think that's just what's going to happen. Take our Fiat. 1300 DT. We'll bring this one down over here, and we will hook on to the wheel rake. So this is, this is going to be ready to go. As soon as that combine is finished, we're going to be ready to go with a little bit more raking. There we go. Run this one up. Yeah, he'll he does he'll do fine with this one. It's a perfect perfect machine for the job. So I'll bring this one out over here, and yeah, that combine is the combine's being a little bit slow, but it's it's okay. It's it's fine. And I'm going to start from over here. If I start unfolding that now like that, and then bring it sort of like this, I can actually make a little bit of a start because that combine has got well. I say a little bit of a start. How much do I want to do? Should I go on round? Should I risk it? I'm going to. Lower that one down like that. The combine's going to go into the crop. We're going we're to carry on over this way a little bit. There. So it's, it's already started putting the straw out. But look. See, we're easily able to take two. Probably take three in places. So we'll get to, the, we'll get to here. That one's going to go on up there. And then we will hopefully beat it up the hill. That's, that's kind of what I'm hoping here. I don't know what it's going to do with the crop. We're quite close to the crop right there. So I don't want to get too close to it. If I pull out this side. Yeah, that's all right. I go up there like that. There we go. Beat the combine up the hill. And then I can run along the top. And hopefully get that run along the top there as well. Come up there like that and... Down through. There, go through. Ooh, look at that. He started to slow down for us, and then he carried on. So we've got one run around here, and then we've got one run that's going to go down this side like this. Bring it round there. Now, this is the bit. I'm going to want to bring this one over slightly. Sort of... I don't, I don't want to go too far too fast, but I do want to press H before I finish up this. There, I want, to, I want to get to about there. Now I'm going to press H uh, so that we've got the hired help just working on this. It'll come all the way down to there. Where's it going to stop? It's going to stop. Actually, it's going to go right the way down to the very end. But then what's it going to do? This is the next bit. So that one will then start working up and down there. It may not be the most perfect run on a lot of it, but it should now. Some of it is going to like gather up a uh, double lot. Some of it won't. There is not ideal. Seriously, what are you doing here? Okay, that I don't want. I need to bring it on up a little bit further, so then I'll press H again and I'll let it start there. That will then run up through. I probably should have moved it over a bit before I carried it on here. It's missing. I got that whole wheel working on that line there and it's missing it. It will pick up some of it. See, it's just going to pick up the very edges of that. And then it's going to carry on up. But I reckon it's also going to go and take that big lump up. No, it's not. Okay, it's going to turn here. Right, that's actually a good thing. That's actually a very, very good thing. What's it going to do with the tree, though? Is it going to wrap around the tree? As of yet, we've not had the hired help wrap itself around any trees. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is absolutely fantastic. We've got a little bit of an issue up there. But no, nothing wrapping around trees. It's not quite reaching across three widths there, is it? But it's still tidying it up. We're still getting a good clean run going up through there. There's going to be less passes for the baler, which is ultimately going to save us money. So we'll let him, let him keep doing what he's doing. The combine can keep doing what he's doing. This one here... Now, was that deliberate or not? I'm not sure about that. I don't know if that was going to just wallop into it anyway or not. You see, sometimes you look at it and you're like, oh, yeah, I don't know. It looked like it did a really good job, but at the same time, 
there is every possibility that it actually completely failed on that run, and it was just pure dumb luck that caused it not to. What are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? I don't actually know what you're doing. Whether there's a bit there that I... You know, it's one of those invisible bits you can't quite see. Uh, I'm going to assume that there are no invisible bits. And what we're going to do is we're just going to run this one out here. We'll go around the lower side. We'll unload this into the trailer. We could just drop it straight over the um, infeed there. But we're not going to. We're going to run it down here. I'm going to hang this one over the trailer. Empty out into the trailer. Then we're going to park our combine up. You know what? We also need to get that pressure washer I talked about. I talked about getting a pressure washer. I said I was going to get the pressure washer. I haven't done it yet. I'm beginning to think that it is something that we should do. So maybe we'll let that one carry on. We've got we've got the, the, the work up in the field. That one's going quite nice as well. So we go into miscellaneous here. This one sits with the land. It doesn't... Um, like you, you don't get any changes to the land. It just sits exactly where it is. And what I'm thinking, actually, is that this piece over here, we've got this raised clunk over here, which is a bit of a nuisance, which is a bit of a pain, but maybe we could do something with it. What I'd actually like to do is this look. I'll show you what I'd actually like to do. I'd like to take that water pipe, that tank right there, and I'd like to bring that out down to that level. And I'd like to put it in there, and I'd like to lower that down a little bit, like that, and may maybe just raise it a tiny bit there. And I'd like to use that, but what I want to do first is I want to bring the F1 help up there like that. Then I want to go into here, and I want to go back to the miscellaneous, and I'll go to the water station, and I'll bring you back over here. So we've got that. I want to just drop that. Just a tiny fraction so I can put it into the middle there. And that should lower down a whole lot. It's 8,000. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Let's drop you in there. Look. That's a bit more like it, isn't it? That is a bit more like it. Right. It now collides with an object. So what I need to do now is I actually need to go to the garage and I need to sell it. And yes, it is an expensive way of leveling out the ground, selling the water stations and buying them and so on. But it, we know that it works. Back into here. Five grand. Right, so that's that low point down there. That's going to raise that. If I put it down here, that's going to lower it down a bit more. There we go. That's better. I want to bring it to there. And then I can come over this way. We may be able to get some more over here as well. Doesn't like that, does it? Collides with an object. So now we will sell that one again. Go back to my garage and... My inner garage. Owned items. Yeah, that one. Go to you. Yes, I want to sell. Okay. Oops. Uh, miscellaneous. Buy that water station there. Right, you can sort of see it, it does, as you bring it over this way, it's rising up a little bit, which we don't really want. But if we bring it to there, it's lowered down a fair bit, so I can put it to there, and that's lowered down by a good slice down there. We've got collisions with objects up over here, so we want to sell again. Go back to the garage and sell that one. Yes, okay. And then... Buy you again. Right, so now we don't have collisions with objects. We do if we go to there, but we can bring it back up this way. And yeah, there's some collisions with objects further up, but down over here, this works out quite nicely. So I'll bring it over to about that point there. And place. So it's it's a little bit rough here in places, but overall it's pretty good. So I'd, I'm going to have to remove the station again. Go back to there and sell, yes. And then go to you. And this, this is going to be the last one that we do. We're going to go right into there as far as we can. And we're going to place that one down. So it, it has risen it up a little bit. But we've removed a big chunk of that. We had like 40 grand. So we, we spent a good 2,500 doing this. Which is it's not ideal. I know. I know it's not ideal. Um, yes, sell and done. But it's 
for me, it's good enough for now. For, for the moment, it's, it's a good enough temporary fix. We can do that when we got a little bit of money. If we do want to do a little bit of, like, leveling off or something, uh, we can make use of it. And that's why there's a piece of straw there. I gone over, as soon as I started emptying out the stuff from the combine, it also dumped a little bit of straw underneath the combine. A little bit of an odd thing to happen, but it, at least we know that it happens and we know what's caused it. I'll grab that with the baler. That'll be the first thing we grab the baler when we go up through. So I'll bring you back into the shed. Oh, we had a plan. Yeah, uh, we did have a plan over there, didn't we? We actually had a solid plan that we were going to do before we started doing all of this. So I'll bring you round. We'll, we'll get that with the baler in a minute. The baler, we will bale the straw first. Then we'll worry about doing the, um, the, the what do you call it? The who's we call it? The, uh, the cleaning. But some of this other stuff, I think we ought to clean it first. This Joskin trailer, I'm not going to worry about cleaning that one because we're still going to be... We've we got another job to go and do with that one in a minute. That's another big job. Well, I say in a minute, it probably won't be today. Probably won't even be close to today, but we can at least go down here. Next, we want to go back in here and go to miscellaneous. We're going to go to the Karcher over here, and I'm going to put that one... Right, I don't want to get too close to there because we need to be able to go in and out with a tractor and a loader. Um... Where could we put this one? You know what? Actually, that would... Perfect, there. We drop that one right there. That's the perfect spot for it. We can drop him right there and he's done. He's, he's, he's out the way then. Um, so then we can go. So we've got 5,467. Why is it so much? Shouldn't have cost that much. Oh, well. And now we come through here. So it's it's a little bit rough in places. And what's it like here? See, we've got several raised platforms that sort of come through. But they're not ridiculously steep, are they? I mean, probably the worst bit is that one down there. And I'm thinking we might be able to try and get another one fitted around there in order to, like, fix that. Maybe it'll take a little bit more. Maybe we should have another session with the water tanker a little bit later on. We could sort of see what happens. I, I, I don't really know at the moment, but we'll, we'll come back to it. Let's not worry about it right now. We can see what the pressure washer is like. See how well it works. It actually works very well. Cleans up quite nicely. Come on around here. Let's get this front weight. This front weight has managed to accumulate quite a bit of dirt on it. I'm not really sure why the front weight has managed to accumulate accumulate quite so much it's not like it's been we haven't been like brushing it up against or anything and we haven't been working in particularly muddy conditions so it shouldn't really have been able to get all that dirty at all but it has back in here always whenever you do the wheels it doesn't matter where you stand when you do the wheels you get a face full of muddy water it's, it's just one of those things that happens now cleaning on the back you know you, you want to try and clean in round here. and You want to get all of that nice and clean, especially on the axles and that round there. You do want to clean this, but you don't want to do too much around the fittings and that round here because you can damage the seals on the rams and also the seals in around these bits as well. You're blasting high-pressure water into there. It's not good for it. So you want to be careful what you're doing around the back of the tractor. Just a little bit. Let's bring this one back over this way and drop you down there. Okay. That's that done. And then we can go up this way. Yeah, look. See, it's it's a little bit steep right there, isn't it? We could do that being dropped down just a bit. Or bring in another bit up. Let's let's have a look and see if we can do that. Go back to that water station. Right. So, yeah, we really we want to bring another piece over here. Right. I want to bring that back to there. Uh, can't be placed. Oh, it can be placed there. I can that's to lower it down. Yeah, really. I wanna I wanna raise that one up ever so slightly to about there, and I wanna bring it back that way as far as I can go. Bring it forward a bit. Right, it's not uh collides with an object. Okay, it's probably gonna collide with a tree back there, so then we can go back that way. Uh we'll try there. That's more like it. That works. That works well. Go to the garage. Sell it. Yes. Okay. All right. Come out of there. 6,000 in construction costs. We're going to just turn around a minute and we're going to see what that one's done. 
I know we've got like bailing and stuff to carry on with. We, we do need to go and do that, but I just I want to get this right. I want to make sure that we've got this right down here, so we can we can come down through here. How bad is this piece now? That's much better actually. Right, there is a little bit of a raised bit there, but I mean this is this is it's supposed to be raised. This is a raised wash platform. So we've got ourselves a raised washing platform right here. We've got the pressure washer off to the side of it. The water is going to run off down there. That's quite good. That's 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 a good thing. That's 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 going to work well. I mean, yeah, it's a little it's a little bit rough in places there, but right now I'm I'm reasonably happy with that. There is there is a bit of room for improvement on it, but overall I I think we we can cope with that and we'll um We'll worry about smoothing it off a little bit better later on. Let's go over to you. Right, you're done. So let's fold you back up. A little bit rough in places, but generally speaking, the rake has done a good job. We'll bring you back round, and I think the rake could do with a bit of hosing off now. We've done all the raking that we're going to be doing for a little while. So we'll run you through. You can be rinsed off. I'm going to just park this one down on the platform down here. And then we can get going with our baling. And that's also going to be the last baling that we do for a while. Because we might actually think about planting up some sugar. I'm not going to plant sugar cane here. You know, if we do sugar cane, we've got... Um, hang on. Where can where can we sell sugar cane, first of all? This, this, that's got to be the first consideration. Right, well, sugar cane will sell everywhere. Doesn't matter where we go, we can sell sugarcane everywhere. We're not gonna we're not gonna lose money on the sugarcane. We got wood chips here. I do wonder if we ought to consider doing wood chips, because at the moment we've not done wood chips at all. We've got a sawmill up here. I don't think you can sell wood chips at the sawmill, can you? I think it's only down here at the biomass heating plant. Uh sawmill, three hundred and seventeen. Oh. Or maybe it is down. Maybe the biomass heating plant is classed as... I, I don't know. We'll have a look at that. That that might be another one. No, the the, the bit that I was considering was in here. Uh, you do have that placeable there, which sells it direct. It just in, uh, immediately sells the sawmill. I didn't really want to use that one. I don't want that one placed down. Because it still means that you've got to drag stuff to it. No, what I wanted to try doing was going with the forestry equipment here... And having a go with that one, or that one, either or, really, because that they both turn them into wood chips. This one here, we have to manually load stuff into it. We can do that with the sawmill. It doesn't really matter what we use. You do have to have a fairly powerful tractor to be able to move that one around, but it's generally it's not too bad. Um, and then we can just park a trailer underneath the um, spout, catch that. We don't need to be unloading it onto the floor at all. This one right here, again, you know, so... Both of those, I think, are good options. We've used both of them previously. I actually, I'm actually thinking that it might be quite cool to try this one this time because the last time we, oh, 250 horsepower. That's the only. What's our tractor? Garage. Let's have a look. What is our tractor? Because if our tractor isn't strong enough, yeah, it's, the tractor's going to genuinely struggle to run that. That's 10 horsepower higher than what we've got. This one here, it's got his own engine on it. Might be better to go for that one this time, and we'll use this one another time. Because I just wanted to try it because of the improvements that we've now got with the um, the arm and stuff. We'll clean out another day. Let's go into here. Go on, let's go and do some baling. We've got 51 litres of grass in there, which is going to result in us having... An entire bale of grass, even though we're going into the straw field, which is irritating, to say the least. And there's a tiny little bit of straw. See? Told you. Pick up a little bit of straw. And it's still straw. It's still grass in the baler. This is what I don't like. Look, see? Grass. Why? Why? You shouldn't be grass. I'd rather... I would rather it did what it used to do, where it turned it from... Uh, it just basically matched what was in the baler to whatever was going in the front. That's, that's a better option. I need to find out if this is intended or if this is actually a bug. I really, really hope that this is in, um, this is a bug, this bit. The grass thing, it does actually seem to be intended. I know I said that it was like really annoying when we were doing the mowing. Um, it just means that we've got to adapt for that. And yes, I suppose 
we would have to adapt to this. But if, if you've got this where you're having to take the crop to the next field with the round balers, I would much rather we had an option that we could empty out the bales. It would make our life a lot easier. It, it would be considerably easier for everyone and everything involved. Um, let's drop you out. Look, see? There, I've got a grass bale there. I don't want a grass bale. It might be better if I, like, leave the last bit on the floor and don't pick it up. I don't want to do that either, though. I want to be able to gather up everything that's in the field. You know, what's, what's wrong with that? we got a lot of straw here. I didn't go very far there to gather up that bale, did I? I didn't go very far at all. We could have quite a few bales here. We've, we've still got our bale collector. And we've only got a very short jaunt up the road in order to be able to unload these bales. Let's go all the way up. We'll go up here. That's, that's going to be that's this part of the land work there. We've got a couple bits down there that have missed. The odd untidy patch up here where it, um, the thing kind of stopped a bit funny. But again, that's, that's not like the end of the world. We can work through that. Go up along this way, and that's it. That's a stop. I'm going to back up some more here. There. I don't want to drop that bale right in front of that piece on the end there. Get that one gone. So there's... How many have we done? One, two, and the grass bale. Well, that three. We've three bales, and we haven't even gone once round. And this is only a small field. Very small field. Oh, sugar cane. I wanted to have a look at the sugar cane equipment to see how much it's going to cost us. If we decide that we want to do that. So let's just do that a second. Very quickly. Um, cedars. Subsoilers. Disc harrows. Sugar cane technology. That's what we want. That bad boy right there. So we're going to need. We would need a planter. That's uh, 32. Th driveless. What's the, what's the difference between these two? That one right there. Cedar planter. You can sow fields. That one there. Two row billet planter. I, what's this? I I don't understand. What what is this? It says driveless. This makes no sense to me. What is the difference between this one and the other one? Requires two hundred horsepower. Driveless. What's driveless? And then you got that one there. I I have no idea what that's all about. And then we got the harvester here. This is a very small harvester. Really, that would be the one that we would be going for. Um, and then we've got our standard trailers here that we've used previously for um, sugarcane harvests. I would want a very small harvest. I would not want a big sugarcane harvest because, quite frankly, it takes absolutely forever to do a sugarcane harvest. So it's not something I want to spend ages doing. Definitely not. Um, but it could be nice to just have a quick look at the sugarcane stuff and see if we want to do any more in the future. Okay, we're, we're not going to be picking up this straw all the way down. We're going to be leaving a bit. If I can bring that one up there, is that going to let me drop that bale there? Or is that going to be too steep? Too steep. Tell you that now. See? See? That's just going to keep rolling he says as it stops right there okay stay there i'll be happy if if you stay right there i'll be very happy now can i actually go all the way down here and pick up the rest of this straw as long as, as long as you look at the tractor right no i, I i'm wow <laughs> this is ridiculous there are so many bales in this field we're, we're gonna have millions of bales here okay m maybe not quite millions but um I'm hoping it's just the outside rounds that are a, li a little bit more. There we go. Right, we've, we've managed to leave the bale behind again. We've got no bowling bales today. We're run down here, and we have done the outside rounds. So now... Nope, I've actually still got a little bit... I'm gonna, just going to leave that. I, I'm not even going to bother. Uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's, let's, let's not worry about it for a minute. We go up here, and... Let's see how quickly this fills up. It fills up very, very fast. All of these bales are going to be running off back down to the bottom of the field, aren't they? Every single one. We're going to have hordes of bales all the way down there. Unless I do something about it. Like going in a different direction. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm just going to do it like this. Just because I'm, you know, 
I'm an anarchist at heart, and we want to see we want to see this happen. Oh, that one stopped. Maybe I, maybe I can actually do this sensibly. If I bring that one back round there like that, that should stop about there and not go much further. Yep. Okay. Now this this may actually work. I'll bring this up through here like that, and then we'll come up over there. A little bit of a tight turn there. I don't really want to turn that tight normally. Uh, this run down here, we're going to get a little bit more done on this one. There we go. There's our bale. Bring you back round. Unload. We'll try and just pick up some of that rubbishy bits down there in a minute. Come in there. I'm looking forward to being able to afford a bigger baler. Definitely. Uh, the, the days of round bales... I, I think the days of... <laughs> I got another one. All right. We'll, we'll, we make it, we'll make a collection of these down the bottom down here. Let me swing round and we'll grab those bits there. We've got two more pieces there. And then we want to head over. We've got some big lumps over that side. So we, we, we're starting to tidy it up. Starting to look a little bit cleaner here. I'm going to come up through there. I've got... I've, I've missed more bits. It's actually left it slightly too wide for us, hasn't it? It's like ever ever so slightly too wide if we just if we're out by the tiniest fraction on this on on the width of the baler it's it's um causing us problems let's put you down to there let you out so i really you could do with like a slightly wider baler. this is something that i've missed i haven't seen in fs17 or i have i've seen like a very very few mods for it um but in fs15 i used to have a baler Good gravy, this is filling up fast. We we definitely want to we need a square baler. We we need to we need to be doing some advancements on here. Um in FS15 I had a baler that had two little you know the wheels that we've got on that wheel rake? Um I had two little wheels it, it was wheels like that, but they were on the outer edge of the baler, and basically they would just pull some of the outside edge in towards the baler. Um quite realistic. I've seen real life balers with exactly the same setup on them. And it just allows you to pick up a slightly wider swath. Or even just to run through the field when it's not been swathed at all. And still have a fighting chance of being able to do it before the end of time. Um, and I... Yeah, I, I didn't really... I think I see maybe one mod in FS17 with that. And I tried it and it didn't really work. So I, I gave up on it. I'd love to see another one of those. It was so cool just to go along with that. You had a slightly wider pickup on it. It made such a difference because look at this. I'm, I'm getting fed up with this. I, I, I keep missing it and then I'm having to go backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive it right down to the bottom here. I'm going to unload it down here and then I'm going to swing round like that. I'm going to gather up some of these other bits that we've got here just kicking around. And... And I'm going to go back into it from this side. I've missed all of the bits. Every single one of them. It's going to do a full bail going up here. You know what? I'm just going to go up this side. There we go. Full bail going up there like that. As expected. So then I'll go to there. And I'll unload this full bail. And then we'll go back around this way. And we'll see if we can gather up some of these little bits. We've got loads of bits everywhere now. Hundreds of them. So we gather some of those there. And just... just Try to make this field look a little bit more tidy. I mean, goodness sake. I'd be ashamed of this. I really would. If I was the actual man bailing this field, I would be ashamed of all these pieces that are left behind. This, this is not the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely not the way to do it. You, you, we need to do a better job. Look, 500, 600 litres. We've got nearly a quarter of a bale in wasted straw that we left behind down there. We gather those. Then we'll go split 750 litres so far. And I haven't gotten it all yet. I got some there. There's a couple of little bits. I'm going to get all of these bits just in case we want to come back through and do something else. So I'll go and grab those. I've got more bits up the top that are taking up a lot more room. We'll worry about those in a bit more detail later on, I think. I'll just grab these little bits. That big piece there can just stay there for a minute. And then we've just got the last of these down through here. And then we've actually got the proper runs. And I got like almost 900 litres of straw just on these wasted pieces. These bits that we missed. There we go. Uh, nine, 950 litres. 
of wasted straw, that was. No, we want to go up this one. We don't want to go up that first one. We want to go up this one here, and that should allow us to finish the field neat and tidy if we could actually pick up the entire swath in one go, which we don't seem to be able to do. So, yeah. But I've encountered this before with rakes. You know, they're really good, and they do gather up a decent swath, but half the time, the swath that they leave behind is a little bit too wide for most of the machines. You know, I, I can't then go and pick it up with the machines that I need to chase around the field with. I'm leaving bits, like, on, on here. See? I'm dead center on that. And it's still leaving it behind. How am, I, how am I supposed to fight that? I can't fight that. It's like next to impossible to fight that. Drop you out onto there. There we go. Right. Up through here. And job done. Right. I've got that little bit. I'm already at half another bale. See, see how many bales we're getting in here? This is insane. Once we've done the baling, we'll have to call it quits for today. And then we'll have to sell all this straw tomorrow. There's some more. I'm going to run I'm gonna run that one all the way back up as far as I can. There we go. So he's, he's out of the way. Put you out there. And then if we come back down, are we going to be able to gather... We should be able to get most of this run at least. This swath down through here. Yes, we can. And... If I go there, there we go, there's another 4,000 litres. So we've at least got one that's tidy. But yeah, you just need them just ever so slightly closer together, or you need the um, the pickup sort of set slightly wider. Now, that's actually down to... That's not down to putting too much straw into the swath or anything like that. That, I believe, is down to the game mechanics and the amount that you can put onto the swath. Which is why I think they should either set the um, the height of the straw swath slightly higher, uh, or you know, alter it ever so fractionally like that, or set the working width of the baler slightly wider. Because I don't think that that is like a real life. I don't think it's real life. I don't think that is close enough to real life to um, like be a thing. Um, you know, people might say, "Oh, you're getting greedy. You're putting too much in a swath." No, I don't think I am. When you you stop and think about it, I think. What the actual issue is, is because of the game mechanics and the way that uh, the swath has got to sit, as you go up through, like here, this run here, this one should actually work out all right. But the one on my left-hand side there, yeah, I've got a bit more straw there, but also I've got another issue with that it's wider. It's, it's gone, instead of like piling it up neat and tidy, it's sort of spread it on both sides. And so that one I'm going to struggle to pick up. That's going to leave bits behind. And that's down to game mechanics. And because that's down to game mechanics, that's why I think they should set the working width of the baler just out ever so slightly wider than it is at the moment, which would then uh, sort of compensate for this bit. Because otherwise you're sort of forced to work in conditions that then don't reflect anything like real life. At least that's, that's, that's kind of my um, opinion on the, the working widths of the, the rakes and stuff. That's also why I'd like a baler that's slightly wider. Um, what I might end up doing is... I did do it a bit in FS17 where I took a baler... Uh, uh, just a, I got a baler mod and I just modified, tweaked the working width of it. Just a fraction, not very much. Tiniest fraction, really. Uh, but it was just enough that then I didn't have this horrible mess every time I went baling. You could come out the side and you could look at it like that and you didn't have to worry about getting it absolutely spot on perfect. And also when you came down to bits like that, you could be confident that you would actually pick the straw up rather than leaving bits behind. Yeah, I know I left a bit behind there, but that's because it's a big lump. Uh, we'll come back to that bit. I've got two more passes and that is most of our bales and then just a little tiny bit to tidy up. We will do the tidy up. But here, see what I mean? I'm coming up through here, and I need to get it onto one side so that it will. it's actually picking up. It's, it's, it's going to do this now, just to prove me wrong. It's going to go through, and it's going to pick it all up perfectly. We're not going to have any issues with this whatsoever. It's going to be absolutely perfect. Our baler is filthy. Seriously. That is, like, absolutely lagged in grime all the way up through. And I've picked up just about all of that straw. Every single little bit, almost. Not quite, but almost. Close enough. Let's back you down to there a minute. Like that. 
and then okay now we've got the tidy up to do we got we got we, i know we got one run still so i'm going to i'm going to do the run first and then we'll go around and we'll do some tidy up i think what we'll actually do is we'll just tidy up until we got a full bale once we've gone down here and we've picked up we'll tidy until we got a full bale so that we can leave the baler empty that would be the best thing if we can leave the baler empty then when we go to do our next crop whatever it might be uh, that the, the bale will then come out the right bale instead of the wrong bale we'll take the bale of grass that we got over there because we've already returned our wrapper we'll just take that bale of grass and we'll sell it with the um, straw I think I know we're gonna want some for the sheep but you real life you can't keep bales of grass you either got to turn them into silage wrap them up so they start fermenting properly uh, or you uh, got to feed it quick you can't bale up grass and then leave it for a couple days because all it's going to do is just spoil right you, you'll end up just having a horrible mess and that's no good for anyone that's not, that is not fit for man or beast and we want something that is fit for man and beast well may, may, maybe just beast but um yeah you get the idea we, we want some good stuff we don't we don't want the bad stuff we just want the good stuff there's some if i go and grab that lump there and then a couple bits here I go and grab that lump there. That's probably going to be it. It's probably going to make our bale. No, it didn't. It didn't actually make our bale. We've still got 250 litres that we need. Have we got 250 litres? This is where we find out that we don't actually have 250 litres left in the field. Anyway. Yeah, we should have. We should have. We've got these little bits down here. Plus, I've got another piece there to, just to my left. That's taken me all the way up to 900 litres. This bit here, this this will be a big chunk here. It's been nearly 100 litres just in that bit. See? 75 litres. And then... 85! We've actually pretty much almost exactly the right number of... That 4,000. We did it. Pretty much exactly the right number of bales to finish off this field. There's a couple little bits, but those are all inside the boundaries of the field, so I'm quite happy to leave it now. We'll do that. We'll fold those up like that, and we're going to want to wash that one. That's going to be our next thing. Let me just have a look. We've run out of time for today's episode, though. So we're just very quickly here. Created bales this session, 31. So we got 31. We got 30 bales of straw, one bale of grass. So 31 bales off this field, because we started with nothing in the baler. Um, that's not bad. 31 bales just off of there. I, I think that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good going. Right. I need to bring you around this way. But anyway, yes, like I said, we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.